Hello, this is Caria again, and I have this uh, amazing book for you. It's called Birds by Georgie Woolridge. Um, I am sorry that I'm not as loud as I normally am. I don't even know what it is, but I, I feel like I have a sore throat and all that other stuff. So, um, I can't be as loud as I normally am. Um, let's get started. This book retails for um, $15.99, but Amazon has it for $11.59. So, you know, consider that. It's got this nice shiny cover. You know I love the shine. Ooh, it's so shiny. Oh, look how shiny that is. Um, it is really large. Like, this is a... I know a few people have requested that I um, get a bigger tripod to have these books not be so close up and I'm actually at the biggest setting in my tripod right now but I am working on trying to get a bigger tripod um, if you want to help in the tripod purchasing efforts there is a there'll be a little tip jar thing right there for you guys to leave a tip anyway um, this book is pretty large it's 10.2 inches by 11.2 inches so that's really big it's got 38 pictures um, and it has info in the names of every book and it's kind of single-sided you'll see when we start looking at it that it's kind of single-sided it's in a semi-realistic style and then it has four full color um, kind of sample pages like this so that's one full color sample page that's another full color sample page. The inside is really cool. It folds out, but it's got this lovely um, Hermes orangey color to it. Maybe it's a little bit redder than the Hermes orange, but it's a very nice, like, classy color. Um, you get a sample page to work on this single color. Oh, there, there's no real true sample page, so I had to use the about the author page, which is, as you can see, um, like nice and lengthy and tells you all sorts of information that I admit I have not yet read but I'm I will read it at some point um, but this is what I mean by it's kind of single-sided so there's your bird is on one page and then on the other page it tells you the name of the bird which is really cool because if you guys have seen some of my other reviews with the animals listed I don't always know exactly what animal I'm looking at even when it's plainly obvious so if you're me this is really helpful so in the back page it tells you the name of the bird and some general information about the bird now the back page is not exactly blank but it gives you information on the next bird so it's not it's not truly single-sided but I think that for the purposes of coloring you can kind of use it as if it were single-sided um, that's your um, flamingo. That is a hummingbird. Uh, rock hopper penguin from uh, these. This was featured in Happy Feet. Uh, I love the original Happy Feet, one of my favorite movies. Uh, more bird, black kite. So, Indian roller. Uh, hopo, I think that's right. The hopo. Um, laughing dove. So, like, as I'm showing you, I'm reading it on the other side. Um, Rhode Island red chicken. By the way, there's some really interesting chicken breeds. If you ever feel like going on the Wikipedia page for chicken breeds, you'll be impressed at the number of chicken breeds there are. Um, that's a red breasted goose that we just passed. That's the European robin. Mm -hmm. Try to see if I can get as much of the blue tit. <laughs> I said tit. All right, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna stop being immature now. Uh, I'm not gonna read to you all the names um, because I have to squint fairly hard to see the, the name. Uh, but I will try to go through and let you see all the pictures. The style here is very interesting, semi-realistic style. You see the outline that's here? Now, originally, <laughs> I was not impressed by this outline business here, but once I saw the cover page and the sample pages and saw what you can do with those outlines, that's actually a really nice detail. So you can use that to make some pretty interesting effects. You see what, what like how they did here. So you can use that as a contrasting color. You could use it as the same color as the rest of it. Um, so you don't necessarily have to pay attention to those um, outlines 
that is your peacock peafowl and kingfisher see what i mean by this book is kind of big um so that is your blue jay mm -hmm. by the way i'm not even sure i'm gonna go see mockingjay part two I wasn't really impressed with Mockingjay Part 1, so I'm not sure I'm going to go see Mockingjay Part 2. Tawny Owl, Ostrich, of course. Your uh, Domestic Turkey, they do taste good. <laughs> All right, that's not right. Um, parakeet, Magpie, it's 38 images in all. I'm not sure I, if I went through all of them. Uh... Bobo Link. Oh, a Bobo Link. I'm going to have to Google that one. No, literally, that's what it says. Bobo Link. Oh, okay, I'm going to have to Google that. <laughs> this is the Greater Road Runner. Oh. Uh, Purple Heron. I think that's almost the last one. Okay. I think that is the last one. And the very last one is the California quail. Let's see. Let me see if I can zoom out so you can see it all. And, and then at the very end, you get um, some summary, like some pictures that give you the information on all the birds and then what page is on. So the back page kind of serves as an index. And then, um, interestingly, your copyright information is at the very end instead of at the very beginning this is a stylistic choice um but it's an interesting stylistic choice and i actually think it works in this book so um here's another one that's colored for you and another one so you can see information now what i like about this book is just how much information there is about the different birds so you you know so it's not as you know like some of the books that i've that you've seen me review i'm struggling to figure out what the animal is but in this case you you never have to guess what the animal is you know for each one what the animal is so that's pretty exciting all right so let's get to the part that i know you guys all love where we talk about the mediums and how it is and by the way it doesn't really lay flat until you do that and then it does lay flat see so um so there's that so um i'm gonna pause um and shorten a tripod so I can get in the All light. Right, so now I'm a little closer so now you can better see the close-up of the mediums. I think it's time for me to buy a refill for my Copic but either way even though my Copic is in need of a refill it does bleed through anyway so if you're using Copics you're gonna have to have a sheet underneath even though it's surprising because this paper is thick but I guess it doesn't matter how thick the paper is it's just about I don't know how porous it is or something. Um, and then over here, these are, I think these were Prismacolors, um, your Faber-Castell pit pens, and then these are your watercolor for my favorite watercolor test, which I love. And if you haven't seen my watercolor video, I'll be a link to it up here so you can take a look at it. Um, so you can see how I, you know, the method that I choose for doing watercolor. Um, hello, this is Bellatrix, who I don't think you guys have seen her before. Um, wow, that's she usually doesn't come out for the for the filming. She's usually in her own world during the filming. But I guess she's feeling like filming today. Mm. So get a little bit more water in here. You don't need this much water. This water, this is literally too much water, but um, again, I just do this to push the limits of the coloring book so you can see that what you'll be able to do when you get it home. All right, so we have that. Uh, let's see how it looks. I think it looks okay. Um, I don't think it's particularly bad. No, it looks, it looks really nice. Hold on. Yeah, it looks really nice. I guess you can see the actually this might be the best um performing yeah um even though the copics bled through this might be the best performing um watercolor book the best performing on watercolor that's not an actual watercolor book so this is not actually a watercolor book but it's i think by far the best performing one that's not on cardstock so that's awesome all right so there you have it my full review of Birds by Georgie Woolridge. 
thank you so much for stopping by and um as always subscribe to my channel if you like the video and like the video if you like the video and share it on you know facebook and and um twitter and um you know wherever with your friends and your fam so that they too can um check out my channel and um so they too can get a chance to win stuff all right thank you so much and i will see you next time bye